Howdy, howdy. Uh, it's been a while, I know. Um, it's good to uh, be back. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm going to try and uh, hop back into the swing of things and possibly do at least try to get through one crack me once or twice, you know, a month, you know, maybe one every other week or something like that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try and be a little more frequent. Um, so we've got Ollie open. Uh, a user sent me a crack me. Uh, actually, it's keygen me, and uh, he sends me this. You know, um, that's fine. Um, and we're gonna kick it off with uh, one of the keygen me's out of that file. Uh, what I don't like to see are things like this. Yeah. Um, just because I, I can't, you know, I can't upload a tutorial on how to do something illegal. Uh, do you think I'm stupid? Anyways, um, so don't ask. Just because I'm not going to, I don't have time to do that. Um, I barely have time to make these videos as is. So, yeah, just, uh, you know, if you have a legitimate question, then go ahead and ask it. Um, I don't know everything. Uh, I'm still learning. I've been doing this for many years and there's always more to learn so don't think that you know it all and you can do anything or that anyone can um, I will say that I know some people who are exceptionally well at doing uh, reverse engineering and that I would certainly say that they could do anything and I would agree with that based on one fact that with enough time and effort anything can be done um, Saying that, uh, let's hop into this keygen me that uh, was sent and was being struggled with. I don't know how far we're going to get because I do have a time limit, but uh, wherever we leave off, I will pick it up from there and we will continue in the next video. So first things first, we see a few interesting things here, but if we go ahead and run it, pops up, let's type in a name, and let's type in a key, and let's click check. As we can see, nothing happens. Um, and this is where some people get discouraged. So, because they're looking for a bad message to go look for, uh, you know, in text strings or something like that, and I don't know where people got the idea that text strings are where it's at, because it's not. And if you watch my tutorials, I tell you over and over and over, if all you do is look for text strings, you will not find what you're looking for because they are not reliable. With this keygen me, you probably can. You could probably look for the good message, but we're not going to. We're going to right click, we're going to search for names, not strings, not text, names. What this means is function names functions that the program calls. As you can see, we have some functions here, and then we have exit process, and we have some functions here. And if we look at those and really think about what they might do, message box, send message, get DLG item text A, will two really grab your attention. Message box, what are they using the message box for if there's no about box or anything like that? Obviously, if we enter the correct key, it's probably going to say something. Get DLG item text A. Get dialog item text A. Gee, I wonder what that's used for. Well, let's go ahead and find references for message box A. There's one, and it says, wow, you did it. Okay, so here we see a message box for wow you did it and below it we see a jump landing marker if we click that we see that there are one two three four jumps to it if we click this jump landing marker we see it's down here this one's way up here so we can put a breakpoint on that one because it obviously jumps over our good message and this one down here is right here so if we go here and put a breakpoint on all of these, we can find out what's going on. Now, if we go ahead and run that, before we even run it, it breaks right here. Well, we don't want it to break every time, so we're going to remove that breakpoint and run. 
Now we pull it up, and we're going to hit check, and we break here, and we see that e EAX is ORed with itself, and if it is zero, then we're going to jump past our good message. Well, it's not, so we're not. It's going to push the offset 403014 onto the stack, which currently holds 15631, which is, if we go back to our key here, 15631 is the last few digits of our key. Now, down here we can see our key, and it's split with a little thing there, and then down here we can see that. Now we're going to go ahead and continue, and go over that, and we're going to hit F8, continue, and we see the EAX is ORed again, against itself. If that were equal to zero, it would jump. Well, it's not. It's equal to 15631, which is the last few digits of our key that we entered. Now it's going to not EAX, it's going to convert it to negative. So if we hit that, and now if we double click it, we see it's negative blah 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 blah. So now it's going to test what's at ESP, which is here, 15461653, which is the first few parts of our key that we entered, against EAX, which is the knotted version of our key. And it's going to, if they were equal, then it would jump. Well, they're not, so it didn't. Now, it's going to AND EAX with what's at ESP. It's going to do an AND with this and this. And then it's going to subtract EAX from what's that ESP plus 4, which is here. So if this minus this is 0, then it would not jump. But since it is not 0, it's going to jump. So we know that our key that we enter needs to end up being 6A666. A6C minus the next few bits of what we put in. So if we go ahead and run that and we put in 6A666A6D, I'm not sure if this will work without those being capital letters, but we're going to try it. And then if we hit 1, we should get a good message. We're going to run, not taken, not taken, not taken, not taken, and we get a good message. So, if we want to write a keygen for this, we don't exactly know the algorithm because we used a four letter key or name and it just took our name and jumbled it up a little bit and subtracted the amount after that. Our key essentially is these two shifted shifted in hex add another bit and then subtract it from it so in all actuality if I remove these breakpoints our key could be many things it could be 6 E and 2 F and 3 so on and so on um, you could actually have a completely different key as long as you're subtracting enough from it. So, um, I think we're running short on time right about now. So I'm going to end it here with um, that. And with the next tutorial, we'll pick up with that. And we will um, figure out the algorithm and write a key gen for it. Thanks for watching. It's good to be back. Rate, comment, subscribe.